8,265 pounds. This is the first of the all new, completely revised Eagle HT Travel Trailer Series here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is not made to be light. This is not made to be small. This is not made to be mainstream. This bucks trends. This is a bigger, taller, heavier, thicker, uh, like king bed, zero degree rated, taller interior travel trailer series. Uh, could be used for off-grid friendliness because it gives you a perfect place to put a generator, roof solar prep, bunk model, outside kitchen, and a partridge in a pear tree. If you've ever seen a travel trailer that doesn't, this is the one that does. Now with the slide in here all closed up, you'll notice you've actually got pretty darn good access to just about everything in here. The really intelligent kitchen design uh, still allows you full access to those drawers, to the cabinets, to everything. You will not lose a single thing in the kitchen. Uh, the only thing you'll really lose access to is the bench side door on the Udinet. But if push came to shove, you could still, frankly, just lift up those cushions to get to all that. So your bathroom that's right behind me, very simple and easy to get to. I mean, you know, all of the storage. You can get to every single nook and cranny in this thing with the slide out closed except the bedroom or at least that would be the case if they hadn't included a direct entry door to the bedroom to be able to allow you to do that and that's where this second door here in the bedroom comes into play now we'll come back up here in more detail but one thing i wanted to point out is the fact that if you take real close note you look at this you're like wow that's a big bed that's because you can option in a full-on like fifth wheel size king bed into these eagle travel trailers which is one more thing you just don't find commonly in the marketplace now take pretty much everything you thought you knew about this kind of floor plan because every manufacturer builds some version of a floor plan like this and you pretty much want to throw that all away you don't judge this camper based on what you've seen from other campers uh, again it starts right up we're gonna start from the top and work our way down quite a bit here because I have so much to cover how about the fact that we have, uh, you know, touch sensitive dimmer switch lighting. And uh, if you just hold the button there, it'll dim right down so it's perfect for movie time. You've got similar dimmer lighting above the dining area. We also have an amazing seven foot interior height, or seven three. I'm sorry, no, this is even taller. This has an incredibly tall ceiling, just like Big Eagle Travel Trailer. And I guess what you would call Little Eagle Trailer, although Little Eagle is still bigger than other trailers so take that nomenclature as you will here's another fifth wheel type feature you don't usually find in the travel trailer business uh eagle was i think one of the first to bring it to any sort of travel trailer and that is uh wisp reducted central air conditioning so that this thing's not going to be screaming loud when you're in it you'll find that similar feature in something like an open range ultralight but it's not going to have that massive tall interior now, taller interior also allows for things like bigger windows, and they utilize that to the maximum possible degree here. But you note that you also have these nice virtual like blackout pleated shades that you could flip down here, but all the windows will also open for airflow. And as long as we're talking about windows, you might notice, you see how they're fully trimmed out? It gives them a great aesthetic look, but it also uh, keeps the pleated shades kind of in place because it gives them something really good and strong to bite into. Remember that Jayco does put a thermal barrier below the flooring uh, or the carpeting of the slide floor so that you don't have a massive heat and cooling loss point over there. Now their dinette here is something that's a little different, just like everything else. They wanted to kind of redefine things. So first of all, it's a full extra long U dinette, which a lot of versions of this floor plan do not have. So keep in mind, if we have a longer dinette, that means that we have a longer trailer. Means that it's more spacious, might mean that it's a little bit heavier. But once again, you're not buying this because it's the ultra lightest dollar cheapest thing you've ever looked at. That you're liking this because it is feature laden and very upscale, modern, and cool. Little differences. You ever get tired of how all those cushions always flop all over the place as you scoot around a dinette? Well, apparently so did Eagle. So that what they actually did is those rear cushions are actually screwed against the wall so that they stay in place. In a way, it's very similar to like what you'd think about a padded headboard uh, in a uh, you know uh, house or something like that, or even in a lot of travel trailers. Now, obviously, doors for easy storage access there, and that extra wide sliding privacy bedroom door uh, that a lot of people have really gravitated toward and really begun to appreciate. 
but it's as we start getting into the kitchen area here that you see one of the other areas where the massive taller interior here and the bigger feel of this Eagle come to play as you gain a ton of storage from it as a result. So let's start up front and kind of work our way back. Extra tall interior means extra tall cabinetry. And they didn't waste the opportunity. They added shelves into everything to just maximize and double your potential storage space here. So this has more storage even than other similar versions of this floor plan from other manufacturers as a result. Now you might notice that nice clean looking hidden hinge cabinetry as we go through as well. And they even added a handy little uh, pocket above the refrigerator there. Now uh, we've got this stainless appliance bundle and I should have mentioned sooner uh, but I was just distracted by there's so many new things to talk about here with this being a fully revised and effectively new series of travel trailer. This is the modern farmhouse decor. These uh, white cabinets with the uh, sort of uh, very dark espresso sort of brown entertainment accents and bedroom accents that you see. That is one of two possible decors. If this is a little too much for you. If this isn't your thing, if you don't like this lighter cream color with that, uh, you know, antiquing farmhouse decor, well, uh, you can get what's called the American tradition, which will take you back to the brown and brown and brown that you're probably more comfortable and familiar with. But uh, Eagle kind of gives you a choice between a little bit more modern and a little bit more traditional. Now, under the overhead cabinetry here, there's like, there's three lights just all smashed right on top of one another. This thing lights up like a Christmas tree. Lights and windows are very expensive, but again, this is not built to be a price sensitive trailer. This is built to be a big feature sensitive trailer. That's why we have things like the better pressed countertops. You can see easy reach appliance outlets. There are uh, four household outlets and four USB plugs all within clear field of vision from this shot alone. If we get down here, you can see that there's a set of outlets right behind that, that stainless undermounted sink. But down here, on the bottom right, you've got USB plugs uh, for a handy little like kitchen phone charge station. Over here, we've got easy reach appliance outlets, and then you've got this thing. What is that thing? Really, guys, what you're going to use it for primarily is going to be another USB hub. But it is effectively a, uh, a little mount location for what uh, my own my own opinion is a very overpriced bluetooth speaker that you could match to it i can find you far far less expensive bluetooth speakers every day of the week now as long as we're talking here in the kitchen these triple drawers right here they do extend further but you can see that they even put a full drawer below the oven so i mean you've got tons of space here and you've got a great spot for a wastebasket right beside that if you notice and again everything is fully travel accessible and just like they're giving you a full drawer under the oven they give you a full drawer under this larger eight cubic foot fridge freezer now over here you've got what i like to refer to as the pantry attainment center because even the entertainment center is getting in on the action the tv functions as a door to get to storage behind it and you can see how there's all sorts of extra shelf space on the right down below the TV and above that Bluetooth uh, DVD stereo, you've got that open shelf right there where if you want to add things like a Blu-ray, a satellite, or whatever, you've got the spot to do it. An electric space heating fireplace keeps your feet warm without burning up your propane. And not to be outdone, again, we come around the corner, we've got a perfectly partitioned little coat closet right here. And every manufacturer uses this little corner a little bit differently, and I really like what Eagle's done with it. We also have a, because we're so tall, we have a very high-mounted command center here to keep the kiddos' little hands from, you know, burning up your water heater. And this RV does include, like the other Eagles, this handy little touchscreen remote that you can dismount and take outside, operate your uh, awning light, your awning itself, the slides, all kinds of neat, fun, upscale, fifth-wheel features found in a travel trailer. Because there's a lot of people, there's a lot of people that have a half-ton pickup. And they want to go bunkhouse camping with their family. And they find out that maybe their half ton perhaps lacks the payload capacity to handle a common fifth wheel. That's where the Eagle HT trailer comes in, guys. It's not really an alternative to other trailers. It's an alternative for people who want a fifth wheel, but maybe just can't tow it. And just before we get up to the bedroom, I wanted to take a second to have a little more room to fully extend the triple drawers right here in the kitchen, just so you get a better sense of their size. They are quite large. I'm very happy with what I see there. Now, quick note too, I talked about the press membrane countertops in the kitchen. You'll find that through the entire RV. This dining tabletop, same material. The bathroom countertops, same material. 
Now, up front here, a couple cool things. This has a actual two-section double sliding door to get up here. And you can option in, as we have done here, a king bed. And ladies and gentlemen, if you are looking for king beds and travel trailers, you're welcome. Originally, Eagle HD trailers were only going to be able to have queen beds. And I know the, the team that designs Eagle travel trailers, or, well, Eagle RVs in general, fifth wheels and trailers. And I said, guys, you know, you've got this extra tall, extra large, big camping trailer, but it's got a conventional queen bed. You need to be able to give us a king bed in this thing. And they listened. And they gave us the opportunity to put a 70 by 80 fifth wheel king in this thing. And if you know, you can still walk around it just fine. Now, I love how they have these side wardrobe closets angled inward. It just gives it such a cool look and feel. And because the trailer is just absurdly tall, it means you could sit up on the bed and never bump your head on anything. Now, you've got dual, like, uh, reading lights above... Well, first of all, hold on. As long as we're going to talk about lighting. You've got main cabin lighting with its own switch up here. Then you have individually switched lights above the bed, and then you have individual light and reading lamps. But take a look at this. It took me a while to actually find the switches, and I went, wait a minute, look at that. So they have handy little side stand lights here, so you can be able to see like little things like phones or something at night without disturbing your partner. But then you have your own overhead individual light controls, and you have dual element lights here. Now, you could say this is overkill, but I think that's just Eagle doing Eagle things. Now, quick note over here. You see how there's a full viewing window in that bedroom door? It does have an interior privacy shade. That door can deadbolt, so it's not like someone's going to come in at night and peek at you funny or anything like that. Of course, we could put a TV against the wall here. Actually, this, this RV can have like four screens running all at the same time. You'll see two more TV mount locations outdoors. But then in this little corner over here, they didn't waste the space that would otherwise be created by that L-shaped countertop smashed against the wall. They opened it up and gave you the opportunity to utilize this space and all its function. So you take a look up there, you see you've got that handy upper storage shelf pocket there. But as we come down, you'll notice that they use the opportunity to add extra dresser drawers in here, where a lot of manufacturers just kind of waste that corner. With that L-shaped countertop, it's often very difficult to get in there. And kind of, again, breaking the mold from conventional Jayco RV construction, usually in a Jayco, if you lift up the bed, you have full uh, pass-through storage access. But Eagle wanted there to be more of a thermal barrier. They wanted there to be more of a separation between outside and inside. But they, of course, still maintain the plywood decking under that easy lift sort of bed storage chest. And now another little detail I don't want to miss, because good lord is this RV detailed is the fact that your sliding bedroom door can actually latch shut so that at night you actually have privacy up here. No one can just slide the door open and walk in on you. So here's a little bit better angle to get a look at that eight cubic foot fridge freezer. I love this modern farmhouse decor. I know some people don't. I know it's polarizing, but you can't really get it anywhere else. So we tend to be very heavy with it on our Eagles. Now, uh, this is also a nice uh, angle to get to see. You can kind of see some of that wood grain in here because this is real wood. It's not just fiberboard or anything like that. So TV's on a double jointed swing arm, which lets us get back there to the storage. Also there for easy viewing. Now, uh, you know, of course you've got sleeping in your slide out here, but one of the things that we like to do is put the theater seat upgrade in uh, floor plans like this it, most of the time. Because in a bunkhouse like this, you've already got enough sleeping in the bunk area. Traditionally, you're not looking at a floor plane like this for, uh, you know, sleeping in the super slide. This is your living space, and you've got a direct viewing entertainment center, and this seating arrangement with these dual wall hugging cinema recliners gives us what I like to call no neck wrecker entertainment, so that you're directly on boardwalk and park place across from that TV, and as you can see, they do wall hug right down. Now, coming around here, Jayco uses uh, bunk mats that are twice as thick as industry standard, and the trick is a lot of times, if you get up here, you can't see it because of the handy trim that they put here. But on this floor plan, you have an opportunity, and it shows us a couple things. One, the thickness of the bunk mattresses that they offer us. Two, even up here, they're using thicker plywood decking, guys. Even up here, they're using the better pressed membrane countertop material. Now, they have an extra large foot-friendly, barefoot-friendly climbing ladder to get to that extra tall bunk because taller ceiling 
means taller bunks. And, of course, we have this handy uh, cargo bunk garage area with the four D-ring tie-downs there to keep your stuff in place. Now, this has been true for years, but Jayco's making it more obvious for uh, viewers to be able to see this. Uh, with uh, a device I'm going to refer to as the Dangler. Anyway, we've got uh, their, their bunk ratings here. Jayco's are rated for 300 pounds per sleeping space, guys. So what that means is that this is uh, a, a, about 50% more than what you often find in travel trailers. But, of course, we do have that easy fold-down bunk here for maximum sleeping space as well. And it's worth mentioning the bottom bunk has the same thickness and treatment as the top bunk as well. It's also worth mentioning an easy to miss detail that you have separate curtains for upper and lower bunks. That was not the case in the prototype. And once again, I'm really glad that they were listening to feedback on that. Maybe that's why this thing's so darn sharp. Uh, because they listened to everything everybody ever wanted in a bunkhouse like this and they just kind of mashed it all together. Now, neat little thing. You notice that they actually put a hinge crease in this mattress. That is a fine detail a lot of brands do not do, ladies and gentlemen. As the person who flips up and down bunks for a living, I can tell you that a lot of manufacturers don't do that, and that means that when you take it home, you have to wrestle with that bunk the whole time. It is not fun. Left-handed, and I am not left-handed, this is all the harder it is. I can flip that shut, and they even have an easy latch system. One-handed operation with that, guys. That's recreational vehicles. That's simple. That's easy. That's what you're looking for. And that's what you get in an Eagle at Halet RV. Another fine detail, just like you have a locking bedroom door, you have a locking bathroom door. And I point that out because that's an uncommon quality. They're not, Jayco's not the only one to do it, but there are a lot of manufacturers that don't. Now, I purposely wanted to leave all the lights off in here so that you get a good look at all this. So we've got our main cabin lights, uh, we've also got that blue LED night light back there. Now, even during the day, you can see how much of a glow it's causing already. Imagine at night when there's no light pollution coming in here. It will make all of these light-colored surfaces glow. Now, like the fifth wheel Eagle HTs or Eagles, if you go with the um, modern or the American tradition decor, which is the, the darker brown and brown tone, you'll still have a lighter bathroom because this is a smaller room and lighter feels brighter, brighter feels bigger, and bigger feels better. Now, another neat thing is right around the corner here, you still have the very fun Eagle backlit morning mirror. So if you need to get in here and you, you, know, you need to get ready at night or something like that, you don't have to go blind with the, uh, the full lights, or maybe early in the morning. Now, while we're looking up here, remember, extra tall ceiling, guys, and they have a rainproof vent fan. There's a special cover on this that we'll see when we walk around the roof. Uh, you can leave that thing screaming running in the rain. No big deal. Now, <laughs> guys, you want to talk tall. You want to talk big person friendly. How about this? How about I'm 6'3", I'm standing in this shower, and there's still room for my hand above my head. I mean, there's no... I could do almost jumping jacks in here if I had enough arm room. <laughs> I mean, this is huge. Plus, they also have a handy little radius uh, shower track right here. And notice it's not just a cheap curtain. It's a, it's a nicer shower runner. I like this space over here. You could stuff towels in it, but like extra toiletries, bath stuff, yeah, supplies like that. The uh, porcelain foot flush stool right here. Uh, you know, a nicer fixture that you're expecting. But look at all of the cabinet space and all of the counter space with a matching a kitchen matching tile backsplash here. This is an impressive amount of storage capacity and I am a sucker for that huge chunk of open real estate in that countertop right there. And if you realize guys, that mirror has a similarly massive storage capacity to it. I also like where they put the window in this. A lot of manufacturers who put windows in their bathrooms They'll put them where if you hop out of the shower in your birthday suit, you're just putting on a free show for the world. And if you're an exhibitionist, that's fine. But uh, I got a sneaking suspicion that most of you, like me, are not. Um, well, they have the window up high enough. You could leave it open for airflow, for breeze, for light, and not put on a free show for the neighbors. Now, what's really impressed me so far all along the way is how if you didn't, you know, take note of the fact that this says HT on the side, it doesn't feel like a lesser eagle, because it's really not. It's just a little bit smaller eagle, you know? Um, it's still bigger than many similar travel trailers, and the big feature trend continues. Like this huge 
drop frame storage compartment, which is something Jayco's never really done in travel trailers uh, re with regularity before. And what's kind of cool here is it's not carpeted at the bottom. This is the same rubberized diamond uh, print type stuff that you'd find in the garage flooring of a seismic luxury fifth wheel toy hauler. Over here, we've got that motion activated lighting that just picked me up as I'm moving around in an easy reach battery disconnect. Now, you'll also find matching motion lighting on the other side of the RV, just like an Eagle fifth wheel, because one of the recurring trends is that Eagle is smarter. Now look up here in the pass-through. You see how they're using that double-sided thermal foil? It's a heat reflective barrier effectively. You see that in fifth wheels. Well, you see that in Jayco fifth wheels. You see hot dog paper in most other brands, the single layer stuff. It works okay, it works all right. It's just that this works better, but it's a little more expensive. Remember again though, this is not built as a price sensitive RV. This is built as a feature sensitive RV. So they've even treated the under part of the bed of this travel trailer as though it were the entire gooseneck of a fifth wheel so that you have separate heated insulated uh, underbelly you have a separate heat barrier right below your bed you have all that extra insulation running up through the nose cap along the roof of the RV even the uh, uh, slides of the trailer now power tongue jack power awning 30 pound propane tanks that stuff's a diamond dozen but you know what's not is up here where I have my handy little battery box and how about this Handy uh, tongue mount cargo tray up here. Are you tired of conventional travel trailers not having a place to put a small generator so that you can go off grid? Once again, where the others don't, Eagle does. Now this has basically the exact same nose cap as a big Eagle, including those uh, vertical like orange glowing accent beams that just really catch the eye. And again, like a fifth wheel, this is this is a part for part match for an Eagle HT fifth wheel. And I can't tell you how uncommon that is, ladies and gentlemen. Traditionally in this business, if a trailer and a fifth wheel share a name, usually the trailer is some kind of decontented, lesser equipped version thereof. But that's not the case here. This is a part for part match with a big Eagle fifth wheel, or uh, Eagle HT fifth wheel as it were, including things like a nice privatized docking center over here. Uh, just handy stuff like that you expect on fifth wheels you don't always see on trailers. It's just, it's impressive all the things they've done here. Now this is zero degree rated. This is tested and proven. That is something that Jayco does anytime they, they put their zero degree rated stamp on an RV. They fully individually test every single floor plan to verify functionality. Um, the uh, windows obviously UV tinted to keep the sun out of there. Uh, the uh, tires, Goodyear's, we'll talk about those a little bit, but I do like those aluminum wheels. What I'm wanting to talk about over here is an optional piece of equipment called SantaCon. This is something that traditionally has not been available in most travel trailer production, really outside of Big Eagle production. It's an, uh, an optional item. It may or may not be present on the RVs that we have in stock. For instance, you know, remember, this RV in this video is an example of one that we've had here, maybe not the exact unit that we've had here. But basically, guys, here's the best way I can describe this for folks not aware of what this represents. Have you, you, you know what a garbage disposal is in a kitchen sink. It's got that thing that chews up all the food and then, you know, it, it powers it through the, the plumbing lines. This is the exact same thing, except it's a power macerator and exhaust that empties your holding tanks twice as quickly. Also, you can see how all the hose, the handle, and everything is all built in. It does not require you to have external sewer hoses. You don't have to have a tote of black tank stuff if you don't want to. Now, you might choose to get an extension hose or something like that, but this is not an RV that necessarily requires you to do that. Of course, we are backup camera ready back here. Uh, let's talk construction for a minute. We've got uh, aluminum structured laminated walls, slides, we have an aluminum uh, beam floor. Every 12 inches on center, you have a two by three aluminum stud, just like a pinnacle luxury fifth wheel that weighs 16,000 pounds. And then you have five eighths tongue and groove plywood floor decking and three eighths uh, plywood roof decking just above Jayco's Magnum Truss roof system. It is one of the most heavily built travel trailers you can find out there. But that's why this you know, they, they, 28, uh, or 284 BH, okay. You know, if, if we're just going to simplify things, I know it's longer than 28 feet tip to tail, but if we just call this a 28 footer compared to other 28 footers, that's why this thing can weigh maybe 2000 pounds more than some of them. It is bigger. It is taller. It is thicker. It is stronger. 
Now our friendly neighborhood Jayco delivery driver was ultra kind enough to work with me on something here. I had him just flip on his hazard lights real quick so that I could actually really showcase the J Smart lighting package. This is exclusive to Jayco RVs. Smart stands for signals, markers, and reverse travel. Now, most trailers, like let's say you just flip on the right turn signal here, your taillight's gonna blink, that's fine. You can't really see it up top currently due to the uh, the bright light that's you know basking on the back side of this trailer, but there are extra upper uh, clearance lights that blink with that associated turn signal. You will also find that all of your side marker lights all the way down the side of the trailer will also blink along with that. Now RT, the reverse travel portion of it, Inside this uh, brake housing, you can see a white section in the middle. That is reverse travel lighting. You'll also find a third reverse travel light up top by the backup camera prep. So whether you're backing into a spot in the morning or at night, if you have a spotter, or if you are using some kind of backup camera, this will give you an opportunity to have a, uh, a clearer field of vision and it'll give other drivers a better understanding of your intentions on the road. It's an awesome thing, and again, it is exclusive to Jayco RVs. Originally debuted on the Eagle series last year, it has since really flooded through the rest of the Jayco series. Some other brands have done some nice things. They have added the backup lights only, because that's easy, but they don't have the full side marker package and upper clearance package. Now, all that being said, let's get back into some fun stuff back here. Uh, this has, uh, because it has a pretty big outside kitchen, uh, they couldn't go with like a, a full-on cargo garage, but they did still give you an access door right here so that you really could still get in here and access anything that uh, you know was possibly available. They made sure that every ounce of space was easy to access. And what I like about this door, because you're like, well, it's a little too thin for a bicycle, sure. But if you pack some totes or something up there and the cargo shifts backwards, well, you can still get to it via this outside access door, or you could utilize this for other purposes. And you'll notice that there are four tie downs in here as well to make sure that uh, you know you can always keep things kind of where you put them. So cargo shift really shouldn't even be an issue. Down below, a uh, two inch rear receiver hitch that we've added onto this so that you have the perfect place to be able to add like a, uh, a bike rack or something like that uh, without needing to uh, avoid a factory warranty to add something like that on there. I would say maybe a small generator, but remember you have that giant tray up front, which is just a very uncommon, really, really cool feature. Um, the uh, outside kitchen you can see is protected under this pretty big patio awning right here. And this does come with a remote control system, remember, so that if you wanna operate those patio lights, your slides, or this awning uh, per se, all off that device, you can. Um, now over here, because it is a taller trailer, they had the opportunity to put a little bit bigger outside kitchen in here. This is uh, a pretty unique kitchen, uh, even among Jayco RVs, but uh, it, at least in travel trailers, because if you take note, you'll find something very similar used throughout like Eagle HT fifth wheels uh, here and there. Now we've got a uh, little bit larger, it's slightly larger than the two cubic foot college kid fridge on the left there. But what I want to zero in on are all kinds of fine details because Eagle is all about the details. Um, they are feature heavy, remember. We have a real sink with a real drain and you have this quick release uh, air hose style uh, faucet fixture here or if you want to swap that out for one of those blue hoses that does have a residential like garden hose fitting on the end, you can use that here as well. Now real tile backsplash and a spot here with all kinds of hookups for a uh, outside entertainment station. We're going to come back to talking about outside entertainment in just a minute, so just kind of shelf that for now. Up here on the upper right corner, another one of those uh, you know USB hubs that you could mount an overpriced Bluetooth speaker on. And dual sets of outlets outside. If you're looking for appliance central, you have it. You may have also noticed that we have those nicer galvanized rolled steel weather resistant counters and that screaming hot Capitol Grill out here, which is such a popular feature. Now what's cool is in a travel trailer, that thing's actually down at what I feel is appropriate height. I've always felt that outside kitchens and fifth wheels, they're up a little bit high, although Eagle actually does have the lowest height on average for an outside kitchen um, in a fifth wheel. Even this extra drawer here is that galvanized rolled steel material. Now. Uh, you can see we've upgraded here to the Moride Stable Step Entry System, and when you do that on an Eagle, you also get that handy extra handle right there to go along with your already standard full-size folding handle. Now, I flip this open, it's an anti-slam door, so you really have to get over here and kind of push it 
all the way and it moves easily if you push it and it just resists you if you throw it what's neat here is we have the little auto close screen band on there so that it'll it won't slam the door shut it'll just kind of get the door pulled shut if all you have to do is flick that handle but not only is this the Moride stable step guys but this is also the zero g stable step system like a giant luxury fifth wheel you know eagle has an exceptionally high uh feature package if you look at its size class all that stuff they have bigger rv features in a smaller rv class they're extremely smart cool different fun that way they're it's a brand that i really enjoy talking about because they 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 just kind of they buck trends you know they're not used to interest in doing things the same way now i said we come back to talking about outside entertainment this is what i call a why not space it, uh, there is a pocket inside the RV that just wasn't extremely functional. Well, the Eagle guy said, well, let's try to do something with it. And he opened it up to create an outside uh, entertainment hookup area. So we actually have two different areas to have outside entertainment here, or you could literally have dual outside entertainment going. Now, those TVs are optional, but here's the trick with outside entertainment. It's kind of one of those I either love it or hate it kind of things for most buyers. If we add the TVs into this, someone's going to say, well, that's a waste of money. I don't want that. And if we don't add the TVs into it, someone's going to say, well, I want that there. But here's the thing. It is easier to go back, circle back, and add a TV where none is present rather than just try to apologize for the fact that we have a TV that you don't want. Plus, a lot of people have their own TVs. And if this is, you consider this a deal breaker feature, an outside TV, guys, you can give us a call at Halet RV, and I'm willing to bet. This is something that we can work out. Now, right below that, we have a couple best-in-class features. We have Goodyear Endurance Radials rated for up to 87 mile an hour, and the exact same Moride compression rubber equalizing suspension system that you have on a Jayco Pinnacle wide-body massive luxury fifth wheel. It's amazing. Now, you have uh, another outside speaker on the uh, back side of those stable steps behind us, basically. But your speakers are low mounted on Eagles because, again, smarter. They put the speakers down where you could hear them instead of up where you're going to blow away the neighbors. Now, these are your standard steps. Your Moride uh, upgrade step applies only to, I guess, what you call the main entry door. But even your standard steps on an Eagle are still an upgrade above uh, a common steel step with these more sturdy aluminum plank steps that we have right here. Uh, you know, they feel stronger under your feet and they are not slippery. Also note, full-size entry handle on both doors. You have a full window in both doors and we have a, uh, you know, full width door on both sides. Mr. Jody doing some quality control for us there. We've already taken a look at this up front earlier, but I did just want to give you another peek at it because that is a big amount of storage with some handy motion sense lighting that I just simply have turned off currently. Handy easy access battery disconnect too is a very welcome feature. And there's another look at that cool little J Smart lighting package. Again, giving people a better view of your expectations and your intentions on the road, especially when they could be in that little blind spot that you might have right there. There are so many cool little factors that go into this that are just not industry standard qualities that, uh, oh man, I'm backing into a trailer behind me and we got some light blind to me here. Speaking of which, why don't we, uh, you know what? Up there on that roof, we're getting blinded by the light. Why don't we hop up there and see what they have to offer us on the roof? Cause <laughs> Eagle HT trailers also bring some pretty cool features up on the top of the camper as well. Now the first thing we really need to talk about on any Jayco's roof is the Magnum Truss roof system. Uh, it basically has a higher weight load bearing rating as compared to any other towable RV roof, pretty much in production in any sort of mainstream class or category, rated for about 4,800 pounds. You'll also see on the left there is a solar prep plug. So not only do we have side mount solar, we also have roof mount solar prep with all sorts of room for panels here. And that is extremely boondock friendly, especially for people who want to use that front, uh, you know, tongue tray for something like a small generator. Now, uh, this uh, roof, one of the differences here is thicker roof trusses and plywood decking as opposed to OSB decking help it achieve that uh, better weight rating. And you'll also notice they use a little bit different bathroom vent cap uh, on your power vent fan so that you can leave that thing running even in the rain. You don't have to worry about cranking it up and down. It just does what it needs to 
when it needs to. Now it's a little slick up here because it is a little chilly this morning. It's probably not a good idea for me to be up here. You can actually see all these other roofs are frosty right now. So hopefully you appreciate the foolish level of dedication that I've demonstrated today. But this kind of effort's normal for us at Halet RV. We're a big dealer, but we come from a small town. And that's just, you know, sometimes you gotta do more for people. And that's where we strive to be. So, uh, you know, whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between, we've got about 20 acres of options here for you at Halet RV, a full service center, and no hidden dealer fees. So if all those things sound good to you, Guys, give us a call. Doesn't matter where you live, these things are on wheels. No one is too far away to work with Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.